What's up, PT Kids? We are back with our series, which is... Level up. Level up, um, almost. <laughs> legendary. Legendary. <laughs> awesome, yes. We are back with our lesson, Legendary, and do... Well, before we get started, I'm Miss Jasmine. Okay, so before we get started, do either one of you remember what last week's lesson was about? Uh -huh. Camping theme? Camping theme? That was our last series, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but what about last week's lesson about legendary? Uh huh. Yeah, we learned about the armor of God. So we are going to continue to learn about the armor, but we're going to break it down into each piece and what each piece means and how we can now use it, okay? You were right, we learned about the ultimate power-up, right? So that's what you learned about, and that was the armor of God. We have an action word, though, this time around. So when we hear the word standing firm, we're gonna do what? Yeah, all right, so PT kids, when you hear the word standing firm, you're gonna throw up your, your arms like you're doing Wakanda stands, and you're standing firm in faith, okay? So, let's get started. Okay, so what do you think it means to stand firm? PT Kids, what do you think it means to stand firm? Okay. Okay. Then what do you think it means? To stay strong in the Lord and keep the faith. Okay. All right. So, let's see what it means. So did you know that God's armor helps us stand firm? Oh, oh, I guess I beat y'all with that one. <laughs> when, it, when it would be easier for us to fall. So that's what the armor helps us do. So do you know, do you have, Azari, do you have a story of when you've fallen before? Okay, Ben, what about you? Okay, you know, you and I have similar stories. <laughs> I actually went over the handlebars. But, um, right, okay, so when we fall, what happens? It hurts. Yes, it hurts, okay? okay. So, so just, just like, like you would, we would wear our helmet when we ride a bike and our knee pads, I would say something really funny because I actually grew up in Inkster. And when I would go out in all of my gear, the kids would call me RoboCop. You know who RoboCop is? No. <laughs> okay, so that was my nickname in, in the hood was uh, RoboCop. All right, <laughs> but I was safe. And the time that I didn't wear all my stuff, that's when I flew over the handlebars. Yeah, all right, so let that be a lesson to y'all, okay? <laughs> so when we are spiritual, when we're talking about our spiritual selves, not our, just our physical, the armor helps us when we fall, like falling into temptation or sin. That hurts us too, right? Okay. So we're going to be looking at the different names of armor. And the first one is, what we got, Azari? What's our first one? So what would, what would we need to hold our sword when we go to battle? Yeah. The belt of? Righteousness or wait, <laughs> PT kids, you can help her out too. <laughs> belt of truth. Yeah, there we go. The belt of truth. So the Roman soldiers they wore belts to hold their weapons. So PT kids, if you were going to war, what weapon would you pick? Okay. So Zari, what weapon would you pick if you to go with the belt? Yeah. Sword. <laughs> A sword. Okay. Uh, ben, what kind of weapon would you pick? Okay. <laughs> okay, what weapon would it be? A cannon. A cannon. All right. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> so, yes, the Roman soldiers, they needed their belt to hold their sword. And so the next one that means is what, PT kids? We got our belt of truth, so then we have, as I already said it. Uh-huh. Yeah, sword of the spirit. Sword of truth. Yes. So, so what, what PT kids, what do you think the sword of truth is? I don't know. You don't when know? I hear it, I uh -huh. think it's, just, it's the word of God. Yeah, that's it. It's definitely the word of God. And, and the, the word, word of God, God helps us tell the truth and to remember to tell the truth. 
Okay. So, so the, the next, next one, one we have what? what? What's, What's our next one? one? So, so we, we got our sword. Uh huh. Uh huh. We use our feet to bring the. Peace. But if we we're holding something, we're tell we're about to tell people about. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Almost there. Okay. The gospel. <laughs> the gospel of peace. Awesome. So the Roman soldiers. So quick fun fact: the Roman soldiers had spikes in their shoes so they could stand firm. Oh, good job. listening. All right. So when we share the gospel, we must stand firm. <laughs> and the truth of Jesus and not be swayed by what others say against him. Okay? So the last one we have is what? Uh-huh. The helmet of salvation, which is what I needed when I went over those handlebars, right? <laughs> All right. So the helmet of salvation reminds us to protect our minds and keep our focus on God. So PT Kids, what do you think we need to protect our minds from? Sin, bad influence. Sin, bad influence. Yeah. Thinking that you can't do anything. Right. Yeah. Defeated thinking. Uh huh. Negative things. Yeah. Negative things. Or I've always heard it cause negative thoughts. Stinking thinking. <laughs> right. Okay. So hope knowing that what the pieces of armor do will give you confidence and make you stand firmer <laughs> in your faith. So whose job do you think it is to stand firm? All right. Against the devil. Whose job do you think it is? Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. There you go. Yeah, it's our job. PT Kids, it's your job to stand firm against the devil. So, yes, you have the covering of your parents and your pastor. But at the end of the day, you are responsible for protecting yourself from the enemy. So the more you do it, the better you get, just like when you play a video game, right? Okay. So... And the more you do it, you'll level up and be legendary in no time. OK, so who do you think is legendary in the Bible? Uh huh. Jesus. Jesus is definitely legendary. We can probably end right there. All right. So we have our Bible verse. So I think, Mrs. Are you going to read our Bible verse? Yes. OK, go ahead. So our bottom line is stand firm <laughs> against the enemy. All right. So before we're done, um, do you know Jesus? Yes. Do you know Jesus? PT Kids, do you know Jesus? Now, if you don't, we're going to do the prayer of salvation so that they can have the um, armor of God. Okay. So let's pray together. Dear Jesus, I am a sinner. I believe you died and you rose again. Please forgive me of my sins and come into my heart. In your name I pray. Amen. All right. So next week will be our last week of Legendary. Yeah, yeah. Good job. Good job, y'all.